mama thank God. With the Ken's Gold incident over, Aaron seeks out a life to live of his own that is not the will of his father. Tossing his guild cloaks aside and becoming the Watcher, Aaron swears that he will fight back to clean the streets of Veldarin. The Watcher lives day to day on the streets, never taking profit for his enjoyment, something akin to Robin Hood. Over the years, Aaron has become a skilled killer just like his father wanted him to be. However, there is no heir for the Spider Guild. His guild weakened? Fred must back off and recuperate until a new plan can be set into motion. With the death of her father Maynard, Alyssa Jimcroft has become the leader of the family fortune and owner of the estate. Her son Nathaniel is sent far away from Veldarn for his protection and education. Unbeknownst to Alyssa, a plot hatches in the minds of friends to remove the heir of the Jimcroft fortune while solidifying control of the Trifect. With the blame of Nathaniel's disappearance on the Watcher, Zusa is dispatched to dispense justice. An uneasiness settles in the Gemcroft household, along with a rage that may bring destruction to the city. Continuing from the previous Shadow Dance book, A Dance of Cloaks, the sequel is action-packed and filled with many new characters as well as familiar ones. While the original was good, I dare say the sequels are getting better and better as Dalglish expands his writing prowess. This is a series I could definitely get into, and one worth spending the money on to finish. Heron has a lot to watch out for as Underworld Enemy Number 1, where there are only a few that can even dare to challenge him.